Hello, and welcome to the Demoette series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoette, we discuss rights in the TDV. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining TDV's rights and outlining their importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of TDV's rights. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what TDV's rights are and why they are important for our customers. TDV's rights are system-wide capabilities that may be granted to groups and users using TDV's manager. Rights are system-wide capabilities that fall into three broad categories. First, they grant access to tools such as TDV Studio and command line programs. Second, they grant access to administrative capabilities such as viewing or modifying TDV system configuration, server status, and system users. Third, they grant system-wide access to TDV's resources such as views, procedures, and other artifacts. TDV rights are important for TDV developers, system administrators, and IT managers. At development time, rights prevent unauthorized users from accessing developer tools and resources, while ensuring that authorized developers may access and modify resources needed during development. During ongoing operations, Rights enable system administrators to limit access to important operational controls, such as system configuration parameters. This, in turn, gives IT managers assurance that the TDV provides appropriate levels of security, along with the flexibility needed for the data needs of a large, complex enterprise. TDV implements both rights and privileges. They are often discussed together but it is important to understand the difference between the two. Rights and privileges are similar in that they both typically are managed by TDV system administrators. They are also similar in that they are both capabilities that are granted to TDV groups and users. However, rights are system-wide capabilities, while privileges are capabilities that are granted at the resource level. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of TDV's rights. Here is the business problem we illustrate in this demoette. We have a system administrators group that has full power to configure TDV, use its tools, and access TDV's resources. However, we want to limit the capabilities of other user groups we want developers to be able to use tools and access resources, but we don't want them to configure the system or manage users. We also have a group of analysts who do limited development in TDV. We want them to be able to access tools like Studio for their work. However, we don't want them to be able to access all TDV resources system-wide, and we don't want them to do any system configuration or user management. Keep in mind that a typical TDV installation will also have one or more groups of end users or data consumers. These users usually have no TDV rights of any kind. Even though they have no rights, these users are given appropriate privileges so that they can access specific published resources via JDBC, ODBC, ADO.NET, and web services interfaces. In this demo, we use three different TDV groups that have different rights settings. To prepare for the demo, use the TDV package import command line utility to import the groups and users you will need. We cannot use the GUI-based import capability because it does not provide fine-grained control over import of groups and users. In the additional resources that accompany this demoette, you will find the car file, along with instructions and a sample command line that you can paste into a command window. Also note that the command line export and import utilities 
require at least one TDV resource to be included. Because of this, you will find a folder called Dummy Resource installed in the shared portion of the TDV namespace after you run the import. We begin the demo by showing that we have created three groups with different sets of system-wide TDV as rights. Open TDV's manager in a browser and navigate to the group management screen under the users tab. Click on each group name to show its rights. Our developers group may access TDV tools, such as Studio, and may read and modify all TDV resources. Members of this group may also read TDV status information, which means they can use TDV manager to see sessions, transactions, requests, caches, data sources, clusters, and so on. However, developers cannot modify status information which means they cannot perform actions such as clearing query plans and caches, terminating sessions, requests, and transactions, stopping and restarting the server, and so on. Note also that developers may not unlock resources and have no access to TDV configuration information or user information. Our analyst group is similar to the developers group but analysts have no system-wide access to TDV resources. This means that we will have to grant privileges on specific TDV resources before these users can work with the resources in Studio. Finally, our consumers group has no rights at all and will not even be able to log into Studio. They will be able to access published resources when appropriate privileges are granted. Note that this group is functionally identical to the default All group. We create the Consumers group for this demo, though, in order to highlight the fact that we can create fine-grained control over rights for groups and users. Now navigate to the User Management screen on the Users tab. Show that we have created three users for this demo. Click the plus sign in the Groups column to show how we have assigned each user to a different group. For convenience, we have noted in the annotation column that the password for each user is password. Log into Studio as the developer user. Note that developers can see all resources in the shared area of the namespace because they have full rights on resources. However, the administration menu shows that full server backup and configuration capabilities are grayed out because members of our developers group do not have configuration rights. Now log into Studio as the analyst user. Note that analysts can only see the examples folder in the shared area of the namespace. The examples are visible because they are part of the base TDV install. If we want to allow analysts to work with specific resources, we will grant appropriate privileges on those resources. But we do not let analysts have system-wide rights to all resources. Sometimes you might log in as an analyst and see the other folders in the shared area grayed out. If you refresh the namespace from the file menu, these grayed out entries will disappear. Finally, Log into Studio as the consumer user. Note that TDV recognizes the logon and password as a valid TDV user, but enforces the fact that this user does not have the right to use Studio. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. TDV rights are system-wide capabilities that may be granted to groups and users using TDV Manager. Rights are system-wide capabilities that fall into three broad categories. First, they grant access to tools such as TDV Studio and command line programs. Second, they grant access to administrative capabilities such as viewing or modifying TDV system configuration, server status, and system users. Third, they grant system-wide access to TDV resources such as views, procedures, and other system artifacts. TDV rights are important for TDV developers, 
system administrators, and IT managers. At development time, rights prevent unauthorized users from accessing developer tools and resources, while ensuring that authorized developers may access and modify resources needed during development. During ongoing operations, rights enable system administrators to limit access to important operational controls, such as system configuration parameters. This, in turn, gives IT managers assurance that TDV provides appropriate levels of security, along with the flexibility needed for the data needs of a large, complex enterprise. Thank you.